I'm excited because our focus at Sun Prairie right now is on student engagement and rich learning. And I think that anytime you can engage a student with their um, with their interests, then you're going to increase their engagement already. And being a gamer myself, I always kind of sought that out as a kid and as a student. So if I can gamify or use games that not only go into their interest, but then also teach them content, I think it's like the perfect storm for kids. So um, looking at how our teachers are evolving their teaching practice and really trying to engage all students in their classroom, not just 90% of them, I think that gaming, game-based learning can do that for some of those kids that are kind of lost in, they're not interested in a subject, but they're interested in something else like a game. For some students like that, they might just be really anxious to make a mistake and they don't focus on the mistakes, they focus on the successes. So then they end up feeling successful rather than focusing on all the things that they did wrong because the game will continue to progress with them. So I think there they, they feel a little bit safer, those kids. Um, I also feel that it can show them content in a way that wasn't ever possible. So some games that focus on things that are very, very tiny, like a cell. A game is awesome for that because we can't, we can show them in a microscope, but even then they can't really manipulate it. So they are looking at content in a way that may make more sense to them, um, rather than like watching a video or, you know, viewing pictures of it. They actually get to like work with it. So one of our goals of our digital media and learning plan is to increase student engagement in their learning. And so, we realize that instructional games are a good way to motivate students to be involved in their learning, to be engaged, um, and to learn without really thinking that they're actually learning. So that um, we found filament games, and with the standards alignment, it fit in very nicely with what we wanted to do. Yeah, being able to use a game allows me to do things that legally I couldn't do. Right? I couldn't have kids blood typing each other. Right? I couldn't have them investigating a crime scene. I couldn't have them looking at the genes that make up a particular cell. Not, not because uh, I can't afford the technology, I can't, but we can't have kids doing these sorts of things. So, so gaming allows us to explore environments or explore situations that we couldn't do normally. Um, and so they get to see a world, pull back a layer of the world that, that's really hidden from them. Uh, so games allow us to see and to peer into those, those experiences. If you can have an engaging classroom, the behavior issues go away. The kids don't misbehave if they want to be there. Um, so for some kids, using games is the way to get them in the door and then keep them there because they, it breaks, the way, breaks down some of those barriers they might be putting up before even entering the classroom. For some kids, maybe science is, the, this might be the first time they've ever gone into a science classroom or done real science. And so there's a lot of fear and trepidation, but through gaming, they can, they can have access to what they're learning and maybe gain some more confidence so that when they come back, they're easier, more easily able to access our curriculum. When kids are playing games, immediately you see they're transported from, they're no longer in a classroom. They're in a learning environment, but even if they're sitting side by side with a student, they're all collectively having that same experience, but at their own level and maybe at their own pace. Um, when, I, when you watch kids play games together, it's social, even though they might not be looking at each other or making eye contact. Uh, but they're communicating in a way together. And so I think what games do in a classroom as well is heighten that social experience. So they're all learning together and having fun at the same time, which again makes a classroom a place where they want to be.